What happened during the last conversation between tech giants Steve Jobs and Bill Gates? Welcome to Inside Communications. I'm Mike Bako. Today we go inside that story with Steve Jobs biographer Walter Isaacson. What was said during that last conversation and what was said after that conversation to biographer Walter Isaacson. We're going to go inside that story next on Inside Communications. A lot of people came to visit him. But one of the, uh, I was there in Palo Alto when Bill Gates decided he wanted to come visit about two months ago. Steve is not the most gracious human being. Um, I try, there's a lot of anecdotes in the book about how nasty he can be, but I try to weave it into how it's part and parcel of his passion. But uh, when he first heard that Bill wanted to come visit, he muttered a few things and the meeting never happened. But eventually Bill Gates was down in Palo just comes to the back door of Steve's house, knocks on the door, comes into the kitchen, finds Eve, the youngest daughter there, doing her homework. He says, Bill says, is your dad here? And she points to the downstairs room, because Steve was very sick and didn't go upstairs very easily, where Steve is resting. And they speak for three and a half hours about being the different approaches they took in the digital age. Uh, computers and technology has transformed almost every industry in this country from journalism to medicine to law, but hadn't yet transformed education. And the schools have not fully figured out how to be different than they were 400 years ago when somebody invented the notion of putting a teacher in front of a classroom. And they talk about all the future things that could happen with the technology. And finally, Bill Gates, who's a very gracious gentleman, says to Steve, you know, I never thought that the end-to-end -end integrated model could work. But you proved it could work. You proved that integrated hardware, software, content into one appliance-like system could actually work. I thought that was very gracious. And Steve, who definitely is not always that gracious, said, well, you know, Bill, you proved your model could work as well. There's room for both models. This is as Steve is furious at Android for sort of replicating uh, what uh, happened you know, with Microsoft in the 1980s, i.e. taking the look and feel of an Apple product and licensing it around promiscuously. But uh, Steve says, you know, you prove that that open model of open licensing and different competing hardware manufacturers uh, using the software, you prove that could also work to my book when I heard it from both sides. But the good thing about the digital age is everybody in it's a bit quirky. So when I talked to Bill Gates about that scene, he said, well, there was one thing I didn't tell Steve. I said that the Indian integrated model worked, but I think it only worked if you have a Steve Jobs there. Somebody with a total passion for absolute control, wants end-to-end -end control, and is going to micromanage every bit of it until he gets it. I thought, uh, well, that's sort of a backhanded compliment. So when I saw Steve later, uh, the next day, I said, here's what Bill said. It could only work if you were in charge. And Steve looks at me and says, what an asshole. 